Hey guys, it's Lydia here from Creator Studios, and today we're going to be talking about what the best build plate is to print on and what I use to make it stick. So, let's get started. Alright, so starting off, if you guys um, follow me on Facebook or are in one of the TiVo Tarantula or Tornado um, Facebook groups, you do know I upgraded my TiVo Tornado's build plate to this plexiglass. Now, um, I believe this is about two or three millimeters thick. Now, some of you might think that um, plexiglass is bad and it warps, but I believe um, the melting point of plexi is 160 degrees. The first time I used plexi wasn't on the tornado. It was actually on my tarantula, which I may have mentioned in one of my videos um, previously. But this isn't the same plexi as this. This is a clear stuff. It's about one or two millimeters thick. It is thinner than this, um, but it's been working great. If you do see warping in yours, then maybe uh, you might need to upgrade to polycarbonate, I believe it's called. But as of now, there's no warping on that. And I just have it clipped on with some binder clips, small ones on my tarantula because it isn't the full build size. So like I did on my tornado, I drilled holes so that the screws that hold the bed and the springs together go through it. So that's just clipped on. But as you can kind of see right here, there's one clip just holding the middle down. And then I know this isn't a permanent fix, but I did super glue the um, outside and held it down with clamps until it dried. So there was no bending in the middle because again, it is screwed in, but the middle and the um, outsides aren't as flat as right here. So that is what I use for my build plate as of now. I did have build tack on that before, never worked. I had glass and um, I just decided to try Plexi and that worked for me. And I also use glue stick. Now I use the Elmer's glue stick and this stuff is pretty cheap. I got it around school time, so it was like a dollar for two of them or something, but um, <laughs> there it goes. But um, it can also be expensive. What I'm going to try in this video is mixing some Elmer's glue, uh, liquid glue, in some water. And then I'm going to see if that works on the build surface, like when it dries, when it heats up on the bed. So I'm going to try that. It should have a same, the same result as uh, the glue stick would. It's just more liquidy and it might take a little longer to dry. Um, what you can use also for ABS, as I mentioned a long time ago in one of my videos, is ABS paste, which is just ABS and um, I said paint thinner, but it's not paint thinner. It's actually lacquer thinner or acetone. Uh, that also works. You just put it in a jar and then you put your ABS prints in the jar. But uh, I don't print with ABS anymore. I gave up on that. I maybe have two or three, maybe four rolls of almost empty ABS. I don't really trust it anymore. I did have an enclosure, as you guys know, if you've been around here for a while on this channel, that I had one for my tarantula, but that is where I stored all my filament, which now I store most of the filament up there. And then I have uh, two boxes over here full of filament. So basically, I don't print with ABS anymore. Uh, I didn't really like it. PLA is my go-to filament and I love PLA. I trust it totally. It is super easy to print with and that's what I recommend to print with. But so I'm going to be mixing up that glue paste to see if it works on some of these prints and then I will let you guys know. Alright guys, so I do not have Elmer's glue with me. So I have this uh, washable white glue. This is just from Hobby Lobby. It was about six bucks for maybe 12 of these or something it was super cheap and then plus the 40 percent off so i'm just going to be placing this mix in one of these paint bottles just to store it easily um, but i will be using a brush or something to apply it on to the plexi or your glass or whatever so i just have this bottle of water i'm just going to add just a little bit of water to it um, maybe that much should be good. And then I'm going to add maybe double or triple glue. You want it to be thicker instead of thinner. You don't really want it watery. And then basically just shake it. So as you can kind of see in there, it's a 
milky white paste kind of consistency. Just gonna add a little bit more glue. Should probably be doing this with the cap on, but doesn't matter. And um, I'm guessing the type of glue doesn't matter. So if you really didn't want to buy uh, a bottle of Elmer's glue for about three bucks, you could just do like what I did and buy these cheap glue bottles for about six bucks at Hobby Lobby for about 12 of them. But so there we go. I'm just going to open it. As you can see, it was an old paint bottle. And then I'm just going to squeeze it out. It's kind of like a runny glue. And then just spread it like that. This will work super well with um, prints to get them to adhere to the bed. You can spread it out with your finger just like I did. And then once the bed heats up, it will um, become more sticky. So yeah, that is what I use. And then again, I use the glue sticks, which have a really good adhesion. And then I use just this dollar store extra hold hairspray. And again, this was just from the dollar store. Now, if you can't get a hold of any of these glues um, or hairspray, you can also use a raft on your prints. Now, I know a lot of people don't like using rafts because they use up a lot of filament. But if you do your settings correct, like I do one layer on the bottom and one on top, so it's pretty thin, that works great. But if you can get a hold of these, I do recommend these and the glue stick. They work great and I definitely recommend them. All right, so coming over to the Tebow Tarantula, um, as you can see, this is the acrylic bed. It is this thick. Um, I'm not really sure, I haven't tried measuring it with my calipers, but um, it's been working pretty well for about four days now. Um, so basically, I'm just going to put some on here, and it is heating up. I guess it is heated up all the way. And then just gonna smear it with my fingers. Now, if it gets, if the build plate is too hot to touch, which it gets pretty hot um, when doing this with your fingers, then you can also use a paintbrush. All right, guys. So I did just a small benchy print. I wasn't gonna finish it because there was really no point to. Um, but the layer adhesion was really nice. It's still a little shiny, and you can see there was like gaps and stuff, but that has to do with my printer. Nothing to do with the stickiness of the glue. The glue worked great. I love using this and I hope it helps you guys and you can do it. Um, again, you don't have to use the liquid glue. You can use hairspray or glue stick. Super cheap items. You can get them at the dollar store or wherever it's cheapest for you to get them. Um, so I hope you guys like this video. It was just a quick video for you guys. Uh, hopefully next week the TiVo Tornado review will be up. I keep saying that, um, but it, I'm just keep running into more and more things that I got to mention in the video, so it might be a little longer. But I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe down below. Share this video with anybody you think needs help with bed adhesion. And again, um, another great solution for a bed is Plexi. Uh, you can also go to glass or a mirror tile, but I love Plexi. It was super cheap and an easy way to print on. So again, I hope you guys like this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.